<laughs> Mr. Robustus, I think I made a boo-boo. Uh-huh, with the thing and, uh, please go on. Okay, so, I genetically engineered these giant honking locusts for BioWin, that company Mr. Giganticus was espionaging for, so that they would eat all of their competitors' crops, which are generally used to feed the livestock our civilization depends upon, but now for reasons that no one could have possibly predicted. There's a worldwide famine on the horizon, but I've kind of become fond of eating, so could I have some of your genetically modified granddaughter's DNA so I can fix this? <gasps> oh, that's fascinating, with the thing about the... Thing. Look at this monstrosity, Mr. Robustus. Can insects even get that thick? <laughs> oh, it's a pet toy. And these definitely real, definitely not pet toys are now being secretly investigated by doctors Anteropus, Mongoliensis, and Ostromesorum. <gasps> As we speak! Sandra Mayo really is lovely this time of year, isn't it? Hmm, we should really take these kinds of vacations more often. Uh, Dr. Anteropus, Dr. Mongoliensis, it, hey, it's, um, uh, oh, no. it's, oh, no. uh, oh, me. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, pretend it didn't see him, pretend it didn't see him, pretend it didn't see him. A megabat just attacked an airplane. Improbable. The operations manager had to bail and was almost killed by a pangolin. Implausible. And now they've been swept up into the midst of an ancient lion-tiger rivalry. Impenetrable? Sorry, I didn't have a third M word. Why would you do this, Biowin? Why would you take all of our quaternary period animals and let them run around, run around at some kind of twisted Great Valley adventure? And so soon after the abject failure of quaternary world. Dr. Mileni, we recaptured like 97% of the animals that my not genetically modified granddaughter released last time and sent them back to our still very successful quaternary world. Listen, remember how I told you a few days ago that you needed a vacation? Yeah, please take one right now, or there'll be a permanent one in your immediate future. Yoink! And also there's a Dimetrodon or something. That's not even from the same era!